Hi, I'm John with Erdtech Environmental Systems. I'm here to show you a quick demonstration of how to install our Great Guard product. It's one of our top guard line of drain inlet protection devices. Uh, with Great Guard, the first thing you need to consider is the size of the drain and the size of the device you want to use to cover it. So what you want to do is measure your grate. Uh, for example, if you have a grate that's 3 feet by 2 feet, you would use our Great Guard size 36 inches by 24 inches. This grate's a little bit longer, it's about 40 inches wide, so we go up to our next size, which is 42 by 28. And then uh, what's great about Top Guard products is that they all install on top of the grate. So I don't need a helper with me. I don't need a, anything to lift that grate. I'm just going to install it by myself, just using a little bit of tie wire here, rebar tie wire, 16 gauge, a uh, little wire snip, and me. And it's going to take me about three minutes, and I'll show you how to do it right now. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line the unit over the grate, make sure that it's nice and centered. I'm going to grab my pre-cut pieces of, of tie wire. I've got four pieces about 18 inches length. What I'm going to do is I'm going to aim to get this unit uh, these installed at the corners as far as I can out. I'm going to hold it down as best as I can. So I lift up, find where the great bars are. Feed it down, poke it back through. Pull it tight to the grate, give it a few twists, cut off any excess, and push this down to keep it out of traffic. Four more corners, I'll be doing the next one now. Just putting in the last tie now. That's it, the unit is installed, completed. One thing you notice, you'll see there's a little bit of gas here in the gasket, don't worry about that. As soon as it rains and gets wet, it's gonna sit down and form a real good seal with the pavement, as you'll see in a few months when we come back out here after some storms. Back at the same drain a few months later, as you can see we've had a couple of rain events and there's been an accumulation of sediment and organic materials. If you look at the gasket, you'll see that the gasket has made a nice seal during when it got wet it made a nice seal. It just formed all the way around. And now uh, I'm going to show you how to clean it. It's very simple, just like installation, I don't have to remove the unit to clean it. I'm just going to come over here with a broom for the most part, sweep everything off. standard push broom. If you have one at a particularly muddy site where you've got a lot of uh, mud and dirt and sediment accumulated on top, a flat-headed shovel can also work good for scraping that stuff off. It's not necessary here for instance. All I need. That's, that's, there you go, cleaned up.